All right, let me get this straight. We finally do a home video, and I got to work with him, not Jane Fonda? Midget wrestling, a sport for all ages, a sport with a history steeped in rich tradition. What does it take, you ask, to be a midget wrestler? Strength, speed, agility, brains, and a body about half the size of a regular human being. For some time now, midget wrestlers have thrilled audiences with the raw excitement of man-to-man -man combat. Pure, uninhibited battles within the confines of the squared circle. However, like all sports, midget wrestling has its lighter side. And folks, this is it. In midget wrestling, what you see isn't always what you get. In fact, if you listen closely, you might be surprised at exactly what you'll hear. <laughs> From the rough and tumble sounds of the mat to the melodious tones of the dance floor, it should come as no surprise that when it's time to trade in the ring for the rug, our midget mat man can cut it with the best of them. And a one and a two. Yo, blood, check it out, check it out. Two ring, five dollar, two ring, five dollar. In the crazy world of midget wrestling, sometimes our heroes have nowhere to run.
they try, there's no getting away from these midget mishaps. short break. Hey, these bloopers are over. We don't need you anymore. You might like to think that our tiny friends always play by the rules. Ah, but the closer look reveals something totally different. These eye-gouging, hair-pulling, flesh-biting wrestlers have always been looking for an edge. Well, so are we. And to help expose these petty criminals, We've slowed down the action to zero in on some of their dirtier tricks. For instance, watch closely for the old fake handshake. Notice how this wrestler lures his opponent into a false sense of security, then wham! Then they're in your standard, completely against the rules moves, like the eye gouge! and the ever-popular hair pull! Followed closely by the knee to the you know where! Oh, that hurts! Now, how about some classic headbutts? are hurt foot stomps. And the always painful hand crush. There's a rather unique donkey kick made famous in the 1950s. It's a tried and true method of making an opponent look like an ass. I'll tell you, let me tell you, it's a dirty job patrolling those dirty tricks. Hey, hey, but someone's got to do it. That someone is us. Hey, the referee. We get no respect, no respect at all, the referees. Those midgets have been picking on us for years, picking on us. This is the story of little Mr. Key, a tiny man with a big heart who one day found himself in the land of the giants. In the beginning, things looked bad, but with a cunning sense of survival, little Mr. T continually frustrated his larger foe. Along the way, he gathered more and more confidence. Of course, it didn't hurt when a big hairy man with a big hairy beard decided to befriend him. But soon, it was the big hairy man who was in trouble. Putting himself at great risk, 
our little hero came to the rescue, not once, but time and time again. Until finally the big hairy man was ready to finish off the menacing giant. Then, in a touching show of appreciation for his little friend, the big hairy man gave little Mr. T the ultimate honor. Alas, no one ever accused menacing giants of playing fair. And soon, little Mr. T was in trouble again. Only this time, he didn't get away. So maybe you were expecting a happy ending. Well, not in this story. In the hands of the menacing giant, poor little Mr. T was tossed around like a rag doll. this story? Well, I think it's quite simple. You see, the bigger they are, the harder they're gonna hit you. Hey, look, up in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane, yeah, yeah, it's a, uh, what is that? listen to you. Yeah, 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 yeah. What are we doing here? We thought we were going to the Emerald City. Hold on there. Don't adjust your set. Yeah, we know they've got short legs, but these wrestlers can really move. Kick off your shoes, grab a hot cup of cocoa, relax, and just plain settle in for some good old-fashioned torture. You know what I mean. A little of this, a little of that, a little of everything that's bound to cause someone a great deal of pain. As the Marquis de Sade was once overheard saying, if you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen.
course. One can only stand so much torture. When that fine line between what's acceptable and what's not is crossed, then the battle lines must be drawn. Nothing comes between me and my Calvins. What's going on here? All right, enough already. How about we take a look back at the glory days of our sport? A time when midgets were men. Back then, if anyone wanted to wear his hair long, he did. And if he didn't like it, too bad. Oh, and you think the guys are crazy today? I'll show you crazy. Heck, we didn't even need a ring back then. It's us midgets. We were men. I'll tell you something, them, them people, they loved us. They, lo they loved us. Yeah, because we entertained them. I'm telling you, yeah, watch, 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 watch. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Watch this now. He bites him, bites him, took a chunk right out of him. <laughs> what a guy. What a guy. You know, let me tell you something, we was tricky too. Light on our feet. I'd like to see one of those youngsters try something like this today. <laughs> what do you think of that? Whoa, 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 hold me back, hold me back. Let me at him, let me at him. That was our style. Always ready to go. We didn't like a guy, threw him right out of the ring. Right out of the ring, simple as that. Hey, it didn't matter, we took on all comers. Yeah, yeah, them's were the good old days when midgets were men. Yeah, watch this now, watch this, huh? You think a pin was enough for us? Uh-uh, uh-uh. <laughs> we were men. Now it's time for our first annual Midget Wrestling Awards. Our first award for the best actor in a lead role goes to... From Los Angeles, California, at 97 pounds, he is the Karate Kid! Actually, it wasn't even close. As this year's runaway winner, the Karate Kid played himself in the Karate Kid Part 5. His role of a blind wrestler who miraculously turns himself into a world champion without touching an opponent all year long was absolutely amazing. For Best Actor in a Supporting Role, the award goes to Sonny Boy Cassidy, who brilliantly played the melancholy part of Dino Martini, a wrestler with a drinking problem who loses the championship while stumbling around the ring. For Best Costume Design, the award goes to the movie Who Shrunk Hoss, the visually stunning tale of intrigue and mystery on the Ponderosa. Notice the genuine period costumes, which are especially apparent on Flop Singh's housecoat. For best song, the award goes to the versatile little Tokyo, who as houseboy Flop Singh in Who Shrunk Hoss sang the movie's haunting title song. Who shrunk hoss, my friend hoss. For Best Special Effects, the award goes to the producers of The Incredible Shrinking Mr. T, an uplifting tale of courage and heart in which our hero challenges for the heavyweight title despite losing inches on a daily basis. Mr. T, you've got your shot at the title. I'm going to win that title. That fool don't know what kind of trouble he into. His mistake was getting in the ring with little Mr. T. For Best Director, the award goes to Martin Schorzese, once again for Who Shrunk Hoss, 
Martin is away on location shooting Who Shrunk Horse 2, so accepting his award is Little Tokyo. Finally, for Best Picture, the award goes to what else? Who Shrunk Horse? Already a winner for Best Costume, Best Song, and Best Director, Who Shrunk Haas, the stunningly visual epic, had all the makings of a classic western. Two solid hours of cowboys, Indians, barroom brawls, and of course, Oriental houseboys. And what a performance by Little Tokyo. If not for the stellar acting of the Karate Kid in this year's other blockbuster film, Karate Kid Part 5, it might have been a sweep for this year's top grossing picture. What a brilliant film! See you next year at the Midget Wrestling Awards! Hey, if I told you once, I told you a thousand times. I'm not a 32 regular, I'm a 32 short. As far as we can tell, even Houdini doesn't have a thing on our band of escape artists. Whether it's just playing getting away or turning a bad situation into a good one, these wrestling magicians are something to see. done with our humorous look at midget wrestling but before we go why don't we take a look at some fantastic finishes in the ring yes so bad. I didn't get to work with Jane Fonda, but I had a pretty good time. Yeah, you know, I really like these kids. See eye to eye with them. You know, they make me feel 10 feet tall. <laughs>